And so your annual planning session or your retreat, however you want to call it, is coming up shortly. What I'd like to do is I've done a, a short video to help you think about how to prepare and get the best out of that two day session because uh, it's a big investment, isn't it? Whether you're working with me or not, it's a big investment. We've got the resources of the full leadership team coming together for two days and hopefully you've chosen a really nice venue to give you the opportunity to maximise doing the best work. Now, key thing I want to say, uh, if you've seen the quarterly video preparation, just that reminder again, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So let's get some time out in the diary before the session and actually start to think about our business that we come together about. The first thing I want to say is, uh, before we get into preparation is, this two day annual feels quite different to me to a quarterly. Quarterly is often, you know, what are the issues? What do we need to focus on the quarter? And this is a really deep dive and there's this different emphasis because as much as getting some stuff done and prioritize, this is about health. Remember, we talk about vision, traction and health. This is about you coming together as a leadership team, bonding, coming together as a team. So we're going to do some work around team if you, uh, when we send the agenda out. And to facilitate that, even if you've read it before, even if you think you know it inside out, and let's be real, no one of us really does, uh, I would like you to read Five Dysfunctions of a Team by Patrick Lencioni. Now, if you haven't got time to read it, there are some quick things that you can do. There are some fantastic YouTube videos that you can watch. But I want you to be thinking about it and actually saying, let's look at those five dysfunctions. Are we a great team? Are we doing well? Uh, getting the results we want and if we're not so let's have a look at some of the layers of the five dysfunctions and see if there's anything that we should be flushing out that when we come to talk about us as a team there's an opportunity that we can work on so that's firstly the five dysfunctions of a team now given uh, that this uh, two-day annual is all about uh, helping you come together around your vision gain traction and health and again sticking with health please make sure that between day one and day two I'd like you to have some fun together however you describe fun some of you might want to go for a meal together and just hang out uh, together some of you might actually want to go and do an activity in the evening together. It doesn't matter whatever is appropriate for you, but this is your opportunity to make sure that you're spending some time together because that's actually where a lot of trust gets built uh, when we actually spend time with people that we like working with. So that's five dysfunctions of a team. Next point, it seems obvious. Get a good night's rest, eat well. These two days are intense. Um, we do a lot of work. So let's set ourselves up that we're actually coming into the session that we're ready for it, that we've got the energy, that we fueled our body correctly to get us through those two days such that you get the best from it. Because as we know, it's a big investment as we've just talked about. So let me then go on to say, say, please do your prep. I'm gonna talk here about what we can do to pre prepare. Uh, and secondly is uh, send me your tools. Um, I like to see the work that you've been doing because I also prep for you. If I don't get tools that I'm actually asking for, it's actually difficult for me to actually see how you're doing and perhaps ask some little questions around some of those things. So back to you in terms of preparation. Your vision traction organiser, please get your vision traction organiser out. We're going to review it. And so I want you to be having a look at your vision traction organiser in the same way that you would do with a quarterly, but perhaps actually then stepping back out even further. Uh, and if you want to prepare for you know, the vision traction organiser review, look at the quarterly uh, pulse video that I actually have as well, going into, you know, think about your core values. Have we got the right people? Uh, are we truly living our values? Is it woven into all of our people process? Are we clear on our core focus? But when we come into the annual is, you know, it might be saying is we can tighten our core focus a wee bit. We've learned some things and maybe we should stop doing that and actually create even more of a niche within the niche we already have. So I want you to be thinking about that. But I also want you to be thinking about at the end that question with core focus. Are all our systems and processes aligned to deliver the results we want, i.e. our core focus? So just to be thinking about that a little bit, anything that that teases out. Our 10 year target, let's reconnect with that. Where are we in that journey? We might be coming quite close to that 10 year target and we might be ready to be pushing that on a little bit further. 
marketing strategy, what we learned about our clients and the way that we do work in terms of marketing to them in the last year, or can we be any tighter in the marketing strategy? Is our, are our three uniques truly our three uniques? Are we really got them embedded into everything that we do, our proven process? Is that working well for us? Or has it become disproven? Because something might be changing in the market that we might need to be responding to. I want you to be thinking about this when we come to the annual, what's happening? around us at the moment is that business model that's been working well for us for a period of time is it working and it might it need to change going into the future and i guarantee is that working for us as well and then we come to our three-year picture now when it, you know, when it comes to annual we're actually going to roll that three-year picture on one year's time so i want you to be thinking about coming in what do you think it's going to look like three short years from now as opposed to two short years from now which is what your current Three year pictures. What would you add into it? What would you take away? What have we already achieved? And then I want you just to be thinking about okay, so if we're starting to think about three year pictures, what might be some of the things that we want to go to work with in the year ahead when it comes to our goals? So just start to think. I'm not asking you to come in with your goals. Please don't do that. I just want you to be thinking about what might be the shape of the agenda for the year ahead. So that's the vision traction organizer. I also want you to be thinking about as you're going through this, you know, I'm going to ask you to check in at the beginning of the session and look back at the whole year. So this is a lovely opportunity to just, wow, look at these things that we did. If you could say we moved these things forward in the year, last year, what were they? Come in ready to share those. See the progress that you've made. I find the annual is magical because people have the opportunity to look back over the whole year. Get your diary out. Look at all those wonderful things you've done. Get all your rocks out. If you want to count how many issues you've addressed, I do have one team who do that. Um, look at all that progress that you've gained. Sometimes we think we've still got so much to do, but I want you to look back what you've gained in the last year. Scorecard. I want you to have a look at your scorecard. Is there anything in there saying, OK, we've got some issues in there. We perhaps have some measures that we haven't been able to get back on track. Oh, perhaps that uh, needs a little bit of look at. But I also want you to be thinking about, OK, our scorecard might need to change because if we start to think about a different emphasis in the year ahead, what's the scorecard going to be need to be picking up? Because what gets measured gets managed. We want to be able to see what you might be thinking in your scorecard. So please take a look at your scorecard. Your accountability chart. Now remember the five leadership abilities is uh, we want to get good at simplification. We want to get good at delegating and elevating. So I want you to be thinking in this year ahead, perhaps what might you be looking to delegate, assuming you've got the right people in the right seats around you, such that you can keep that journey of freeing up your time, what you might you be doing in the year ahead. So remember, delegate and elevate. The other five, uh, five leadership abilities to simplify, predict, Simplify, delegate, predict, systemize and structure. Remember, structure. If you're thinking in the year ahead, we might need to do something quite fundamentally different. Well, you can't achieve your vision without having the right people in the right seats. Right seats is defined by the accountability chart. What changes might you need to make in your accountability chart? Might you need to perhaps simplify? Might you need to pull back on some resources? Or might you need to invest in some new resources to help us to get to the vision ahead. So I'd like you to be thinking about your accountability chart. And lastly, as you're going through all of this, what you're actually doing is flushing out the issues that you're going to be bringing to the annual planning session. So please bring those issues to the session. What I'd also like you to be doing is looking at the issues on your vision traction organisation. You know, that stuff that just keeps getting pulled forward. Realistically, are we going to do some of them? Or are some of those things that we actually do need to start going to work on now and stop deluding ourselves that we can just keep pushing that forward and pushing it forward? And lastly, do have a little look at your what's on your level 10 issues list because there might be a few little things lurking in there that actually are potentially, they might appear as a rock, Unusual that they would appear as a goal, but if just have a little checks and balances that uh, there's nothing lurking in there as well. And so team, if you do this, you're going to significantly uh, gain value in your annual because what we're not doing is spending time thinking about things. The thinking has already taken place and you're bringing your issues. And remember, issues can be opportunities as much as they can be issues, they're barriers. You're going to be bringing those, already having think of those to the session, which means we're going to have more time to go to work on trying to address some of them. And so that team is how to prepare for a great annual planning. Look forward to seeing you or hearing about your progress if you're not running with me this quarter. Okay, bye.